I'm a native Memphian, grew up here, and from the time I was little, you know, I, I think I created art every day. My mom was an artist. We always had like art stuff around the house, stuff that I could play with. It was just really never a conscious choice. It was just always something that I did, and it just kind of continues to unfold. Through school, when I wasn't taking art classes, I was creating on my own. I got to college and um, my plan was to major in architecture. I took an art class and my art teacher just said, you know, have you ever considered applying to be in the visual arts program? And so I was like, yeah, well, sure, they can come up and check out my paintings. And, and, and it turned out that I was accepted to the program. And that was kind of that. The summer before my senior fall. I ended up living in the South of France going to a little school called the Marchute School. And that's really where I got a lot of the technical training. Shortly after that, I took a um, portraiture seminar from an artist named Daniel Green. So for my senior thesis, I ended up painting faces and facial details and like on huge canvases. And I thought, you know, I really, I wonder if I could make a business painting portraits. And so really for like a good 20 years, that was my, that was my art business was painting portraits, mainly children. And um, it really worked nicely. Certainly was not a planned path, but wow. I love living in Memphis and I love sort of the juxtaposition of the gritty and the beautiful. I think it makes the beautiful look that much more appealing when it's next to something that, you know, might not be conventionally beautiful. So I'll, you know, do that a little bit with, with landscapes. I like sort of the imagery of, of roads and where they might lead and anything that kind of makes you sit and think, I wonder where that goes or what's over there. I'm usually sitting right here working at this table if I'm working in watercolor. I've been recently exploring ink, that's been fun. And then paint, usually I'm at my easel. When Justice Ginsburg passed away, I had so many thoughts. I thought, you know what, I'm just, I'm just gonna paint. I'm gonna paint something that's a, a tribute to her. So I sat out on my back porch and um, did what turned out to be the first of like this strong women series. There's just no shortage of, of strong and remarkable women. And then I've also done a series of flag paintings. It's just sort of the way I think about peace and unity and us all coming together as a nation for good. Sometimes it takes a left turn if I'm if I'm working in a, acrylic or might completely paint over something. You just have to not think something so precious that you have to save it. You have to sometimes be willing to just wreck it and let something better come out. <laughs>